my world I don't worry darling I just smile cause you're Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Yu Yan. I am so, so excited to share this video with you guys today. I've been wanting to do a video like this for a while. So as you can tell from the title, today's video is going to be kind of like the New York City spots that I like to go to, especially if I want to take some pictures. Some of them do have that like New York City aesthetic and other ones are just like the places that I know that are easy and quick for photos. So I thought I would share that with you in case you are in New York or you're coming Coming to New York and you're trying to find some places to take photos obviously these are not all the places there are so so many I've also taken pictures in a lot of other places before COVID but these are more so the places that don't have a lot of people and are easy and quick to take also I am thinking about starting a series so like a New York City kind of series on my favorite kind of places favorite restaurants favorite coffee shops etc so I am so excited to kind of just start this series and my boy my boyfriend and I are planning on moving to LA um, beginning of next year so I do want to show you guys as many places as I can before I leave. Obviously I am still going to come back to New York and the city all the time. Both our families are here, our homes are here, so there will still be New York City content. So if you have any other recommendations on what you'd like to see for this series, definitely let me know, leave it down below. So I'm going to stop rambling now, so if you want to see my favorite spots in New York City specifically for pictures. Then let's get right into it. such nice um, natural lighting and it is called the American Wing. I feel like this is a really good spot to take photos just because there's so much natural light coming in and it's like super bright. Also how funny is this? We like unintentionally <laughs> match like literally the opposite colors. too loud but it's beautiful such a good place to shoot um, they resemble like the gossip girl vibe and I love that there's just always people sitting on it and like people are chilling and eating Central Park today and this is one of my favorite places to just take pictures of like more nature-y kind of scenes and of course Central Park is just so iconic to New York um, I'm gonna show you some of the places some of the spots in particular that I do like to shoot so I walked in on 60th and 5th today that's the entrance that I usually take to come to the park and right when you walk in if you make a slight left there is this little lake area there is this little lake area and you can see um, a few of the buildings in the back and it's such a cute little shot i think this might be where blair in gossip girl was feeding the ducks and then right over there if you walk a little further there is a bridge like little geese is there geese <laughs> so cute <laughs> Oh, 
if you walk a little further there is this bridge it is so cute and i feel like you can get the perfect background and i'll show you guys one of the pictures that i had taken here before it's so pretty yeah so i like to take it right at this spot and you can see a lot of the buildings in the back in the pond it's just such an iconic spot once again Okay, here is a, another spot. This is called Sheep's Meadow and it is so nice for picnics and stuff because it's just like literally a huge area of lawn. Um, but on top of that, so pretty for sunsets. I shot here the other day, like a month or two ago for um, like kind of a sunset glowy kind of picture. And it was right here and you can see some of the skyline in the back. The grass here is probably the nicest in the whole park. There is this archway right by the fountain and there's this one spot that I really love and it's just actually at this corner right over here. Especially at, like around the afternoon, the light just hits so beautifully over here. You can see this beautiful like architecture and everything and I took a photo right over here a few times. Um, just so pretty and like I said, the light just hits so beautifully. I love this little walkway. There's always a man playing music over here. And then you walk out and it leads right to this beautiful fountain. This is my favorite spot um, in Central Park. Just so serene and pretty. Honestly, I feel like I am like in Gossip Girl whenever I'm in this spot. It's just so, so pretty. Hope he loves it too. Is he trying to go in? Kobe! So there is one last spot that I wanna show you guys. So from the fountain, you walk up these stairs over here. They're like on both sides. And then there is like this little like bridge i guess i don't even know what to call it but you oversee the fountain and that whole area that i was in okay so right over here this is the spot and i've taken some pictures here before and like i said you just oversee the whole fountain and that whole area i've taken an outfit photo right in this spot before and it's just so pretty um you see the trees and the sky in the back the fountain in the back such a central park moment and then I'm gonna zoom in. You can see Colby and Samson sitting right there. Just chilling. <laughs> if you do come to New York or if you are in New York and you are trying to take some pictures, Central Park is always the way to go. And if you are a Gossip Girl fan like me, this is like a must <laughs> see location. So today I'm gonna show you guys another spot that I've been really loving to take pictures in recently It's actually kind of like around my neighborhood and it's actually at two spots right next to each other So the first spot is called Tudor City Park and it's like this small Neighborhood park that is just really cozy and cute and one of the reasons I really love it is because I feel like parks are super easy for you to take pictures yourself like you don't always need someone to help you so i usually use um, a tripod and a bluetooth remote and then right next to it there's also another spot that i really love that i've taken pictures a couple of times there and i've taken like my wallpaper kind of pictures on instagram and it's kind of like a hidden spot i feel like not a lot of people know about it but i always want to share this with you guys just in case you are looking for some like new york city inspired pictures so i think this is a really great spot especially since there's not a lot of people so this is what it looks like and then all the way down there is a grand central and then times square so it's just like a really really cool view um, and this is just like so pretty so New York because you can see the Chrysler building so it's like this little bridge kind of thing and you can see 
right over there and then across the street you get to this view of Long Island City. Sometimes the sunset colors are over there and it's so nice. This is definitely one of my favorite spots in New York City. Um, sometimes I walk Kobe around here and he really loves just kind of like watching out there because there's just like always so much to see and it's just so New York so it's definitely kind of a hidden spot I feel like there's not a lot of tourists here there's rarely any people just like taking pictures over here so I love that and I thought I would share with you guys um, in case you do live in New York or you visit New York and you want like a very New York looking kind of um, background I think it's also a really great place to kind of maybe take your date or something I don't know just kind of like overlook the city and maybe grab like some coffee or some um, hot chocolate or something I don't know but now I'm gonna head over to the park and like I said it's like literally down the street so this is the park like I said I came here a lot during the summer after all this time I found this cute little bench and I'm just gonna eat over here um, but there's like benches all over the park and it's just really nice and quiet so like I said it's really easy to like take pictures by yourself here and today is actually a little bit cloudy as you can see so the lighting isn't as nice but usually when I come during the day it looks really pretty especially in like the early afternoon so I love the lighting here and it's just like a very quiet and serene place to kind of take pictures like not at all very New York City which I do like sometimes hi guys so today I am heading to Soho to take some photos obviously Soho is such a good spot to take photos it is always photogenic and I always find um, that I get some really great pictures there okay we are in Soho and like I told you guys this is like my prime place to take photos we always get yeah we always get some really good ones and right now we are on between green and Mercer Right? Yeah, on Broom. Yeah. Um, Broom and this whole street is so cute. We just took some photos over here and this like wooden door. I just love like the beige like, what is this called? Like totems? <laughs> I am in Soho again, so I thought I would share with you guys a few more places that I really like to shoot. So this building right here is so, so pretty. This is in the Cross Streets, Broom and Green Streets, and it's just this really pretty white building. I see a lot of people just taking pictures right in front of it. Another place I really like to shoot is in front. Isabel Morant. They have this really pretty like white walls kind of thing. Let me show you guys. So right here is so pretty especially when the sunlight hits it um, in the early afternoon and I've taken a few pictures over here and I just love the colors of these holes. Another spot for you guys right in front of Acne Studios. This is usually like a really good spot just because it is very minimal and this is on Grand Street and Green Street. I've shot a few pictures over here and I think it's super cute. Um, I love like the white walls and just basically how minimal it is. Honestly you guys I feel like anywhere in Soho is really pretty. I love the cobblestone streets and all the buildings are just so aesthetic and i do get a lot of questions on where my favorite place to shoot is and honestly it is probably soho just because it's always really easy um, and it always turns out pretty good another spot this is between spring and green street and i personally really love shooting in front of the ysl over here like i think this door is so cute um also this whole street is honestly really really cute love the cobblestones you can get some really great street shots as well i think a street shot like right over here would be super cute and then i'm gonna take you guys to one more spot okay last spot is ralph lauren which is right across the street from apple and i love this spot because the light actually hits 
really really nicely especially like in the morning and again with the white and everything just really pretty and actually I really like like some of the gold lettering that it has sometimes like over here on the door it has some gold lettering like I said anywhere in Soho is just so aesthetic so if you're looking for like a good street shot or like pretty walls or anything like that come to Soho um, you'll definitely find a few good places if you walk around or you can use any of the places that I had just mentioned okay you guys this is the last place I actually talked about this um, I think in like one of my vlogs when I asked you guys if you want to see this type of video so of course I had to show it to you again um, this place is called Washington Muse and I found it a few years ago it's like right by Washington Square Park this place is generally pretty empty because this whole street is blocked off from cars so I would come here with my tripod and I do like to shoot there's like a bunch of cute little doors which I'll show you guys in a little bit but again this area is just really nice um, because if you are too shy like me to bring your tripod out and shoot in Soho I feel like this is definitely a great spot um, I see a lot of people just shooting with their tripods so you don't need to be shy about it so it's basically just a street but I'll walk around and show you the different doors that I do like to shoot at this one is so cute it's like a blue door some flowers in the front so pretty especially when the light hits it and you'll see here the whole thing is like cobblestone I also really like this little brick one. It's just really simple. And as you can see, there's actually a few people over there just um, chilling on the sidewalk. All right, let's walk down a little bit. So yeah, as you can see, it's just like basically a whole street. So this is another spot. I think I've shot here before. Also, I just met a subscriber. And if you're watching, Charlotte, nice to meet you. I always love just like talking to you guys. And I know right now, especially, during covid it's not the best time but I still try to make an effort to talk to you guys if i do see you and i love it when you guys come and say hi to me okay yeah so i shot at this door before this green one i think it's pretty cute um, i'll insert a picture of what i shot and yeah i think it's really nice all right guys so i'm just sitting on the stoop in front of one of the doors just chilling for a little bit but yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this video obviously it is very different than what I usually film, but I had so much fun doing it. Um, there's definitely more places I want to show you guys, so let me know if I should maybe make like a part two or something. And I hope you enjoyed this video. I know, like I said, it is kind of different than what I usually film, but I had so much fun making it. So thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys. Here we are right now, no longer 17. Have we been around? Got some years on us And a new bell as a scene